Okay, guys, here's a quick video on how to do a narrative in Traumasoft EPCR. So when you scroll over to the narrative tab, you have a text box area here, and you can just start typing in your narrative generically, however you want it to do. Um, but if you want to do it a little bit quicker than that, or maybe a little more thorough, there's a generate narrative button that's made available to you. When you click on that, it brings in all the information from the chart as you have already filled it out, all your assessments, your vitals, medications, procedures, etc. Now you are still responsible to make sure that all of this is true and it is accurate. You can add more information here. And in fact, we highly recommend you do. That way you remember this call if you need to look back. Specifically, I'd want you to document things like um, the condition of the patient when you found them, any complaints they voiced to you, any interactions you had with the patient and their family that would be important to remember. Um, specifically, care and belongings transferred to, that's going to be a big part of, you know, when you hand over patient care to the hospital, just so that you don't get accused of taking the patient's belongings. Um, kind of help yourself out with the narrative and make sure that everything, again, matches directly with the chart. Now, here's one thing to note about the narrative. You can edit the narrative directly from here. Let's say I didn't give sacinocholine, and I actually gave aspirin to this patient. And that will change it there in your narrative. But it's important to note that it actually doesn't change it in the chart areas. So you would have to go back to the different fields, navigate your way through, and make a correction there. The opposite is also true. If I go to my chart and I start changing things, and let's say I change the gauge of the IV, it will not populate in my narrative until I go back to my narrative, delete the whole thing, and generate from scratch. That way you make sure your narrative is always current and that the information is always accurate.